guys. Let's do this. So it's not Hero, but instead... It's not Hero. Axelad versus Machine. Well, here we're, we go, man. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. Alrighty. Uh, versus Machine. I'm gonna tweet this, man. I'm gonna let people know the awesomeness that is about to occur on said stream, which is our stream, which is Playham. Thanks for coming out and joining us, guys. We hardly show. And you, you want to bet, Robin? <laughs> Do you want to bet? Bet what? Nope, never mind. I'll bet you. I always you bet think? on cross position, so I would have lost this one. Let's bet on who's gonna win, though. Who do you take? You're Providence. All right, I'm adding this to my book. Hold on. Yep, yep. All right. All right. So if I win, what's the uh, wager? Robin, what what is the uh, the prize for winning? Robin and Kibbles. All right, well, we're betting a drink at Providence. Okay. And uh, I will uh, well, who who are you who do you think? I'm gonna call machines. Okay. Oh, all right. I'll call Axelad. Okay. I'm glad that you chose the other person. That was a choice. It would have been quite a weird bet had you uh, not gone I could have okay. bet on uh, a draw or the Overlord. <laughs> okay. So the bet is if Machine wins, you have to buy me a drink. And if Axelad wins, I have to buy you a drink. Correct. At Providence, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So let's get into it then. Spawning at about the uh, 830 position is going to be EG Machine. And right across to the bottom right corner is going to be EG Axe Lab. Partners in crime. Partners in the same house. Evil geniuses they are. To solve some amazing Phoenix play from Axe Lab. Going to be a fun game. The thing is, this is kind of a hard map for a machine to go and expand on right away. So he's going to throw down a pool first. Especially getting an idea of where the opponent is going to be in a couple of seconds. See those uh, resources being uh, mined right now if you're checking that overvision. Sees the minerals being retrieved so I'm gonna know exactly where the opponent is gonna open up safe here throwing up that pool but again it's really unsafe to expand and really hard to as well because as you expand you're actually getting closer to your opponent and Zerg never wants to do that I love this build coming out of machine right now it's uh it's gonna be a little vulnerable to any early pressure but uh, seeing as Axelov is going for the forge fast expand that's not uh, something he has to worry about He's not getting the gas, but he got the quick pull and the quick hatchery. Uh, going to be in a great economic position because I, I believe he dropped a 15 pull there. And uh, I think it was a 15 pull, 15 hatch. And yeah. that gives him a really good economy. Those extra drones early on make a huge difference. And it's 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 honestly, it's a really big difference on whether, uh, you know, you, you uh, save up till 15 or whether you drop it at 14. So... Uh, he's going to be in a great economic position here. He's going to make only two Zerglings, and he's really focusing uh, on on being nesty in a way. You know, he's he's making so, so many drones. Yeah, look at this. Already getting a drone position to get a third. So darn fast. Who is so scary? Because if Axelab, you know, maybe threw down a Stargate or something, that third's so vulnerable uh, to any Void Ray push. It's going to be really hard for him to hold that. His Kree spread won't be up to par quite yet to get Queens over there. Um, so it's going to be scary, and we have to watch out for Axelab's uh, possibility of popping on a Void Ray. I really wouldn't put it past him. He really seems to favor that Stargate type of play as a probe is being chased in the middle of the map. He is unaware of the third expansion quite yet, but he should be heading towards it right about now. And yes, look at that. Uh, probe already having that tingling sense. Going to go on in here and see there is a third on up, and that's gonna really going to dictate where he's going to go with this play. Yeah, the timing there was perfect, you know, because he has his two gas down, but those two gas allow him to, tr the timing of them, allow him to transition into a lot of different things. And the real yeah. question is, when is he going to take these third and fourth gases? Uh, that's really going to allow him to, to uh, move into different tech routes. If he really wants to tech up, he can grab this third gas pretty quickly. Um, and, you know, now he knows the third. So he knew before he had to make any big decisions. We do see him researching plus one. And uh, that could honestly be any variety of things. You can certainly go for, as you said, Stargate play uh, that he favors. Uh, even with plus one, you know, it gives you some really strong follow-up attack, but only seen two gateways out of him so far, so we're going to have to see as his mineral starts pulling up, uh, really what he's going to do. Yeah, I'm looking at this, and it's, it's a really level one, or really early level one uh, attack. Um, it may be due to the fact that, hey, uh, he's got a patch recently, and 
those costs quite a bit cheaper. As a result, we'll run out here and kill off that scouting ling. Uh, but I'm really thinking he might follow up with a, a, a high number of gateways, maybe go for a level 2 attack. Uh, pushing here could be potentially really strong, kill off these rocks, get up here in the third and be able to evacuate pretty darn soon before Machine can even get enough units out to really defend. As we're checking out the drone count though, Machine is 30, 41 to 32 and uh, Harvester's, he, he's not afraid man, he's drawing up like crazy. Oh yeah, he's been using his Chrono Boost a ton, you know, he knows he doesn't have to really worry about any pressure from Machine quite yet. Machine took this extremely fast third, that cost 300 minerals very early in the game, so uh, Axelab is getting this extremely fast plus one, and I think you may be right, Robin. He's, uh, I think in about a minute we'll see him put down a gas, or at least within the next minute he'll put down this third gas. And I, I, I think you're absolutely right. He may get quick plus two and go for a really big, uh, something on the lines of a blink stalker timing or just general timing push. He chrono boosts out, actually. He chrono boosted like the last second of that uh, upgrade. There we go. So opting to go for the plus one plus one, so it's probably not going to be Blink Stalker. Uh, it may be a Zealot Sentry based build. That's what definitely looking like. We have a lair on the way for Machine as well. Evolution Chamber is down. Should be seeing that upgrade starting up pretty darn soon. That level one, the range attack, we will be seeing our roaches for a while. Pretty good in close positions. Uh, you get a nice amount of roaches out, follow up with a high number of lings. That pylon though, warping in a few units right now for Axelab in the top left corner of its base. Definitely looking like he might want to get a little aggressive pretty soon or start beating down those rocks at least. It's going to be a high number of zealots too. Uh, but here's the thing, if he stays on too many zealots, those roaches are going to do wonders against him. So here we go, this Ling runs out here for Machine though. Perfect scout, sees all of the zealots. We should be seeing a high number of roaches pop out pretty soon. Seven actually on the way for Machine, five more following us. Yeah, Machine is in a fantastic position right now, as long as he can get these units out. Um, the real Machine thing though is that Axelov has some great upgrades. But Zealots, terrible against Roaches, especially when they're on creep. So right now he wants to snipe this third hatch, but he's just not able to do it. Getting surrounded by the drones, the Roaches firing on his Zealots can be shut down quite easily. And here's the thing, Machine right now has 54 workers. He's actually doing a lot of damage with these Zealots. Did manage to snipe a, a significant quantity of workers. Uh, got six and forced out. There are spores everywhere. I don't, there's so many spores. Did he just yeah. blind expect Stargate play because Axelov always goes Stargate play? Well, yeah, it's a ton of Zealots really indicates that his gas is going into something heavy like a Stargate play. That's perhaps what he was thinking following up, but Axelov playing the mind games pretty well, throwing out two of box facilities actually. Might be popping out double immortals, uh, just seeing that there was a high number of roaches, as it looks like the roaches are actually getting ready for a counterattack here. Uh, he's starting to run across uh, the map, if you will. A couple links in outside of the natural. We'll be seeing an idea if Axelov is going to try expanding for his third. Uh, actually, I think he missed that probe running on by. So he's kind of in the dark on terms of expansions that Axelov is having. Axelov actually going for a little bit of an early expansion. Like I said, uh, like we usually say whenever we cast together, usually we see an expansion around 11, 30, 12 mark. Just about a minute or a minute and a half earlier on uh, than we normally expect from a Protoss player. But Axelov should be just fine as the, these Immortals and an Observer being popped out right now. The Immortals are going to help so much. Uh, Machine, you know what I'd love to see out of him is a macro hatch. He's got that plus one melee upgrade for speedlings, but he honestly yeah. doesn't have, you know, the means uh, to produce a ton of speedlings like you normally would uh, if you're going for plus one melee. But look at his third. He's gathering so much gas and doesn't have the minerals even close to saturated. So he went for melee upgrades here, but uh, cancel, uh, managing, by the way, to cancel that third, or force the cancel, I should say, out of Axe Lab. Uh, so. Axelab's in a, a really tough position right now. Ax, uh, Machine just has such an, uh, an economy rolling with his three bases, and although Axelab has more workers, he's on uh, two base versus three base, and that's never a good place to be uh, as Machine, Protoss. Machine catching a warp in as well on that uh, pylon in the top left corner. Some Zelts were trying to be created there to run into the third and snipe off some drones, but Machine having those reinforcements, seeing those, was able to defend it just in time. And he's pulling up a lot of gas to pop out a few infestors. Uh, he just had the infestation pit fall up. Pathing lands are on their way. Uh, so it looks like Machine has a nice little game plan set up here. Has a high number of roaches, a nice amount of ling as well. There are two immortals though here for Axelab. It looks like we're going to start getting a little bit of aggressive here, poking off that four up pylon right away. Uh, the observer does see everything that Machine has though, so he should be a little careful here. Don't get force fielded in as level two attacks are on their way uh, for Axelab. He wants to hold off as long as possible. If these level two attacks finish up, he might do an okay job of pulling off this aggression from Machine. Yeah, I mean he his upgrades are out of control right now. Uh, yeah. Machine's really only getting started with his upgrades. He's got so many roaches in his composition 
but doesn't have any upgrades for them. Uh, he went with melee upgrades, as we were discussing. So, really Ooh. nice force field going down for Axelive. Oh my god. He just trapped an obnoxious one of your roaches. Flank. Roaches coming in for the flank. Beautiful force field trapping up all of the roaches. They are completely useless in this engagement. And Axelive right now doing so much damage to the army of machine. He's going to kill all of these roaches and lose next to nothing, Robin. Those force fields were amazing. Those immortals only lost a few of their shields. Great job by Axelab. Machine's going to be hurting right here. Uh, he does have a nice amount of investors out, though. That's going to help out with that, uh, that fungal growth. Uh, the sentries, though, they have a couple of force fields available, but they did waste a lot in that engagement. Five immortals here. I would really, really hope to see Machine pop out a nice number amount of links. He really needs to get us around. Finish yeah. up these Immortals and these Stalkers. There's only a couple of Zealots really in this composition from Axelab. And Axelab deciding not to push. Gonna go ahead and throw up a third, but Machine has a nice little roach here. Deter that from going on up. Where is that Observer? Is it on its way? I can't find the Observer. As the fourth is going up though in the top left corner for Machine. Uh, but a Zealot already on their way for scouting. He is gonna check in the top right corner first before he finds that, but he will eventually find it. Uh, just great play from Axelab there. Yeah, those... Man, I can't even get over those force fields, but there are a lot of links right now for Machine. Oh my gosh. And he doesn't really have are. units to deal with these links. He needs Zealots, and now he's warping in some Zealots, but how many did he make? I mean, he's, he's got seven or so Zealots. Uh, a good quantity to deal with these links that only have plus one armor while he's plus two attack, but here come the links. Nice fungals going down on the army, but the real question is, what are, what kind of damage are these Immortals going to be able to do? They are the damage dealers. Infested Terrans going down, and Immortals are not good against those. Finally whittling down all of the uh, speedlings. Now it's pretty much Immortals versus Roaches and Infestors. The Immortals are getting so low on health though. But it looks like they're all going to survive. Oh my god, another wave of Roaches coming in, Robin. Yeah, Machine's going to get really aggressive here. He has a total of 44 more links on the way. Axelab backing himself up into a corner, doing the most amount of damage as possible. The Immortals still pretty weak, but the Colossal is going to help out and clean that up. Got to be really, really careful. We do have the links running straight for that third, but there is no Nexus up quite yet. Machine's going to have to pull back for a little bit here. He's starting to fall pretty bar far behind in supply, but he does have his fourth up. Spire on the way. Three more Infestors on the way. The, that push from Machine was interesting, uh, but I think as soon as he lost his links, he really should have pulled back. He lost about three Infestors. Those Immortals actually do a lot of damage yeah. to Infestors because they're considered armored units, which I don't understand the idea behind that. But nonetheless, Axelab held that pretty well, uh, was ahead in supply for a little bit, and now is in position to get his third up. These five immortals, Robin, have over 60 kills between them. They're they're doing wonders for Axelab. They really are, uh, and it's really due to Machine letting his lings die off and then keeping getting with roaches. Again, roaches just melt to immortals. Uh, if you're gonna take on immortals, you have to literally have like six. For every one immortal, you have to have like seven or or six or seven roaches uh, to take them on because they just do so much damage. Yeah. Uh, and unfortunately, Machine just. Not really paying attention to that, although he does have his fourth up. Checking out the drone count, he is 71 to 61. Would like to see maybe about 10 more drones put out for Machine before it gets way over aggressive. Uh, but look at this. I got that honestly, level 2 attack on the way. Um, from Machine? Uh, yeah, level 2 attack on the way. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Okay, so I, uh, man, I, this is reminding me of MVP Tales versus uh, Stefano right now. Like, Machine has yeah. just thrown waves of units at Axelab, and Axelab has fended them off. That first set of four seals was mind-blowing. How gorgeous uh, they were, I can't even emphasize. They were perfect. And he lost, now like, he's finding him What? He lost like three units. Yeah, one it was incredible. Amazing. So now he's finding himself, while he's been down economically, Machine is just thrown wave of wave of wave of units at Axelab, but Axelab needs to be careful not to overextend himself right now. He isn't in a position to push quite yet, and now he might find himself in a really tough position. Colossus, get caught out of position, do get fungled and taken down by the uh, Investors. Infested Terrans dropping down on the army now. Axelab really needs to work his way back to his base. He did not want to push out here. And uh, now the Colossus, the final one, is going to fall. There are a lot of roaches. And that was Axelab's entire army. Uh, those Immortals that, you know, have really saved him. They're up to 22, 18, and 19 kills. And he lost two of them, lost all of his Colossi. And as I'm sure you know, Robin, losing yeah, your Colossi as Protoss. Big, big deal. deal. He lost four of them. Yeah. Um, the, the Corruptors, some nice fungals. The roaches in the top left corner really making the Colossi stay out of the battle as well. They chased him down. Really great engagement there from Machine. Did pick off an Immortal as well, but for the most part, these Immortals are still staying alive, so that's a good positive for Axelab. That force was taken down as well. The Warpers ran in the top left corner. It is finally cleaned up. 
by Machine's Corruptors, but that fourth going down was a huge, huge blow uh, to Machine, and Axelab knows it looking pretty good here. He should just macro up a nice little army, yeah. uh, and it should be good to go, so we got to keep an eye on Machine. He 